Hi, welcome to a SBR Sports Picks. This is the Odds Couple Sports Betting Show. Today is uh, Monday the 19th. I'm Peter Lozak. His name is Mike Brenner. And uh, this is our unusual segment that we do every Monday. Opening Oof. lines, college football, week <laughs> four. Mike Brenner, let's throw up the record hey, on you know Saturday. What? I uh, am in the middle. Of, look, check uh-huh. it out. I have the flu like has been yeah. kicking my ass. You yeah. know how that feeling is? Well, no, guess yeah. what? It just goes, it, it's coherent with what happened to me in college football. Yeah. I got beat the hell down. Well, you started out the, the, the year with a, with, with a bunch of winning weeks, but on Saturday you Woo! gave uh, eight picks in our videos, oh, one in seven. I know, I got one pounded. And, and in a, NFL, uh, I damn near swept the board. Yeah, so that's right. You had it's a good just NFL. the dynamics, trying to figure it out, Pistol. Listen, we're just feeling our way out here, and sometimes, you know, a lot of plays that, like a lot of the, a lot of the sharp plays, they don't make their bets until Saturday. Exactly. And, you know, so, you know, if those guys, a lot of those big, Big sharks make who make, a uh, yeah, who make huge. Uh, they, they do hit opening lines. We'll talk to about in a second. But a lot of those guys on Tuesday or Wednesday, if you ask them who do you like, they'd be like, I have no clue. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? And they mean it. Yeah, right. And they mean it. So let's talk about the opening lines. There's a few opening lines that are interesting to me. Yeah, One is. of them, these lines move fast, man. One of them, I hit <laughs> on the Thursday night game. I hit Georgia Tech plus ten. Now it's down to eight and a half or nine market wide. Heritage is still hanging nine and a half. But uh, Clemson, I don't know, man. They're, are they a little bit overvalued right now? What do you think? Well, they, I think they were going into week three, and even mm-hmm. though they didn't play anybody in week three, there was a 53-point line that was hanging at certain places. They went out and just pounded, pounded, pounded that FCS yeah. school. So I think they're just a little bit too talented for Georgia Tech, and either, even though they're playing in Atlanta, I got news for you. I got a feeling this thing's going to get ugly. You All of a so? sudden, people are, you know, Georgia Tech's back. No, they're not. Hell, they haven't been back yet, and I may be wrong because last mm-hmm. week I was wrong about a lot of yeah. things, but Pistol Pete... I just don't think Paul Johnson's team is up to par. And but at ten and a half, I wouldn't have talked you off nine, that ledge. I got it at ten. It was ten, nine and a half. That's half. a good. I think you won already I mean, just by getting that. Last year, if, Clemson beat Georgia Tech by nineteen. But well, the last year, three games before that was all tight. It yeah, was tight. And they this year they only beat Troy by six. That's yeah. not a good sign. There. I know. So, I don't know what to make of that. Something tells me Clemson's going to continue with what they did last yeah. week. Be it an FBS school, a, a top five, top ten. I think they're coming out. I think they found their offense mm-hmm. in sync. I think that's what they were looking for. Yeah. And and again, this is, I'm taking it. I got, is it still oh, minus really? eight and a half? So this is one of the games you this want to is, give. Oh, absolutely. It's okay. top of my list. Yep, absolutely. Minus eight and a half, minus uh, 106 at Pinnacle. Clemson. I got to give it. This is official, and I got to okay. give it, and I feel good about it. Wow. I think their offense gelled last week, although Georgia Tech put together a game and so mm-hmm. forth. I just, I think they had too many things to overcome, and I think Clemson's got the advantage. All right. So that's one official pick from you right there. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll mention two picks that I'll give officially that I did bet on the opening lines. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, first of all, the first one I'm going to give mention, I, th- I think this will be okay. I'm going to take Kentucky over South Carolina. Right now the line is a two and a half or two, so I'll take the bet Chris lines, which is a okay. minus two, uh, minus 105. I got it at minus two. Uh, you know, South Carolina is definitely rebuilding. rebuilding. And uh, Kentucky last week, uh, what did they do last week? I can't even remember. But they're, well, but they're, they're looking okay. They no, beat they South they Carolina, a, and they beat South Carolina last year. Yeah, and they got a decent offense. They got yeah. a lot of returning starters. And, yes, they did beat them last year. And, so they uh, beat them last year. The question is, can they do it again this year? I, I think, think it's so worth too. a shot that they can. And I'll take them at minus 2, minus 105. And then uh, the next yeah. one, kind of a minor game that I'm just going to mention because I'm going to, as the weeks go on in college football, I give kind of like more and more picks each Imagine week. that. Well, that's how that's how people, uh, that's how, like, you know, there's more data, you know, that, no, that you I, can I, use. No, I'm just full with you. Oh, geez. Jeez, wow. All Uh-oh. right. <laughs> well, I took I took Purdue at minus three on the Ooh. opening line. What now it's it? up to four or four and a half market wide. Who are they uh, playing? They're playing Nevada. Uh, I think Nevada's a very beatable team. She's they're in Nevada, f- right? No, it's it's at oh. Purdue. Oh God, that seems like a low yeah. line. I, I, I right. wouldn't well, be sweating. You look like you're gonna. All right, I gave it at my. I, I bet it at minus three, so I guess I can give it in this show at minus four, minus one fifteen. I okay. guess that's a good sign that the uh, that the line went well, up. Sure it is. And that was one that I definitely grabbed the opening line. I'm just seeing this now. This is how quickly we do everything. Yeah, Nevada. Here. What do they have? I, I yeah, they're know. a very beatable team. I uh, off the top of my head, what, what 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 happened in their last game? I don't remember. Let me oh, see. God, Let me pistol. see. I have if it, I, I have didn't it all have here. this flu all <laughs> over me, I'd be able to rip off every stat there was. I Let promise you. I'm just. Oh yeah, right. And Purdue, Purdue in the in in the game against Cincinnati, they lost. Uh, they they actually they were equal in yards, right? They yeah. just had a lot of interceptions, and I think that I think they're just a much bigger school. Yeah, much, Nevada's much off a bigger. big win over Buffalo, but Buffalo has been terrible this year. So yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. all right, man, we could talk about every game here. Everything is interesting. Let's talk about another game that you think is interesting. <laughs> all right, I, I like this old Miss Georgia game. Oh yeah, I mean here's a team right. shaking its head, going, all right, against two of the top clubs, we got out early. And they came back and beat, beat the tails yeah. off them. You know, speaking about Alabama and, and FSU, what they did to Ole Miss. All right, now Georgia, Kirby Smart, great story. Let's not forget it wasn't a couple weeks removed. Nichols State went down there, damn near got mm-hmm. the win between the hedges. Yeah. All right, Ole Miss, they're pissed. 
They're pissed. You think pissed so? To beat. Absolutely. You How much more this can you take? You don't think this is a letdown spot for them? I don't. I, th I don't think this is. This is determined. This is bend or break mm -hmm. right here. And and I really feel they finally they got too much talent. Yeah. And they're gonna just say no. Hell with this. Um, I, I got to go with it because, again, really? Georgia, very similar to SC, South Carolina. It, well, not similar, but they're rebuilding. They're rebuilding yes. in a whole lot of ways. Um, I like it. And I'm not going to make it official, but I did want to talk about it. And mm -hmm. wouldn't be surprised. Is it still available at 7.5? Yes, it's 7.5 market-wide. I'm actually leaning Georgia on that one. I, okay, I interesting. It, but, okay. yeah, it is 7.5 market-wide, and uh, we'll see where that one uh, where that one moves. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, – God, I could talk about half I know you games. could, of course. Let's That's see. Awesome. Let's see. What else is, uh, what else is interesting here? Let's go down it. I'll, I'll tell you one. That's, that, that's moved in the opposite direction. East Carolina, we know they're giant killers, right? Yes, when they, they go are. up against these uh, Power Five teams, getting a lot of points at Virginia Tech, and I Virginia know. Tech has been good. Another rebuilding yeah. school, right? It opened at, at about ten and a half. I took it at East Carolina plus eleven. Now it's up to twelve. Wow. Or eleven Ooh. and a half. So someone's betting Virginia Tech. I guess I can understand that. I mean, they've definitely given some good performances. And yeah. for East Carolina, it's kind of it's they're they're the kind of team that can come in and get a good win like they got against North Carolina State. But doing it, you know, this is the yeah. third big game in a row for them. Ooh, it might so be too might much. Be yeah. down a little bit. I it can see be. why that, but my, my, my sense was that that's just too many points. I didn't take them last week because it wasn't enough points. They were only getting, sure. I think they closed it two against South you Carolina. Know, but Pete, but any team, especially a big program like that, a marquee program like Virginia Tech, when you when you start a whole new regime of coaches mm -hmm. and everything else, that takes time. Yeah, that's got to sure. be considered Absolutely. in that. Yeah. All right, let me ask your opinion on this one. You, maybe you have no opinion. Maybe you don't want to talk about it because it's a little too painful for you. But uh, no, nothing's painful, bro. I got news for you. Michigan, when I get beat like that, no, it's okay. <laughs> Michigan as a big uh, home favorite against Penn State. Yeah. There has been some movement here. It opened it with yeah. 17. Now it's up to 18 and a half or 19 market wide. So someone's been betting Michigan with yeah. some uh, with some clout. What do you make of that? Well, one? I think the real Michigan showed up in the mm -hmm. after getting down 21 to nothing. That that's the sign of a, of a good team when a coach yeah. says, "All right, hell with this. We're going to turn it on." They turned it on. They yeah. really did. You got to admit that was a hell of a turn on. Now it's not painful, Pete, because I know we're just not going to win them all. I mean, all. the thing about Michigan um, though is that the, the, their games are coming very close to their spreads. So you see this a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, very close. People are expecting them to yeah. be awesome, and they are awesome. But yeah. the spreads are just right on. Even the Absolutely. even the game that they, that so they won in the fifty-one fourteen, that was a yeah. thirty-six point spread. It was I know. I know. No, I'm off of this one. I'm okay. going to tell you why. Because mm -hmm. I like the guy across the other side of the ball, James yeah. Franklin for Penn State. This is the real deal. This guy is a good coach. He's a players' coach. He took over when Bill O'Brien went to mm -hmm. Houston Tech. Yeah. Okay, so Franklin's been filling in. It takes time, like anything else. But these teams, there's pride. As long as pride's involved, yeah. and this is like a, a rivalry from way back. Um, I, I just got to stay the hell off it. Giving them a hell and of like, a lot of points. And like you said, those points have been too tight yeah. for yeah. Michigan. Yeah. So yeah. now I'm staying off it. But I am a Michigan Blue fan. Sure. Loved what I saw last week <laughs> in the comeback. And this one, I'm gonna love. I think they're gonna get the win. 18. Ah, too All many right. for me. Here's another one I'll give officially. And uh, you know. I hope I don't get burned. Uh, Iowa is. I hope a team it's not painful. No, I yeah, it might be, might be, might wind up being. Iowa is oh, a team that I've oof. had circled as as overvalued uh, yeah. the whole uh, the whole year. But uh, I bet against them when they went against Iowa State and they blew them out. And then last week was the North Dakota State game, which is an FCS team. Oh now they're God. a fourteen point favorite on the road at Rutgers. And again, I think that's just a little bit too many points. I'll take Rutgers it, plus fourteen. I officially. wouldn't talk you off that ledge. What in the hell? Right, North Dakota right. State. They beat them, Pete. Yeah, right? Yeah. They beat them in beat Iowa. Them outright. Beat them outright. In, outright in their own backyard. North North Dakota State. If anybody can tell me real Listen, quick, five people that went there or ever well, played there, I'll Carson take you 500. Wentz. Carson Wentz. Shit, There's I'll one. give you the 500. I don't mind. Uh, hey, uh, take that know, one off. I'm Edit just, that uh, one out. That I'm was just not saying a good that, call. That, 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 you know, these <laughs> Carson Wentz really did? Yeah, yeah. Hell. These, these FCS... Uh, these FCS um, these FCS losses are not, they're, they're, they're kind of embarrassing, but they're not super embarrassing. They happen, you know, remember when Appalachian State was in the FCS and who they beat? Michigan State in that yeah, huge game. Yeah, that I mean, huge. they do happen and good teams can bounce back. They get up for it. Yeah, it's, it's getting up like that every time is tough to do. Well, yeah, uh, that's so, interesting. Uh, so, so, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a, it's you know Iowa could bounce back, but in general I do feel like they're overvalued, and uh, and I'll take I'll take Rutgers at a uh, shot here, getting 14. It's just so many points. Oh, yeah. Then uh, I'm also thinking about I'm just going down the list here. Yeah, because there was I'm, one I can't wait to ask you. Yeah. About. What's that? What's that? Florida State at USF. Oh, yeah. Now look, this right, team just right, got pounded, right. and with all due respect. You know, Jimbo Fisher, great guy, not a great coach. I mm -hmm. think he was handed. I think the talent won the title when it did, mm -hmm. and I think it's been showing since. It's just too up and down. They don't get up for the big games. But there's no excuse whatsoever for what happened 
last weekend, no matter what. You don't let your team stay mm -hmm. down like that and then not even get them up the second half. So I look at that USF game, and I'm not a big underdog guy, Pistol Pete, but, man, USF's got to be big as shit. We can yeah. beat this team. Yeah, and USF has really been up and overachieving this year yes. against the spread. There has been a, a, a pretty big move on this one. It opened at five. When I saw it, it was six, and I was thinking, now is that seven, quite enough think, points? Yeah. Now it's up to seven. I know. So that's a big move. I'm not exactly – it could be – again, uh, these early moves tend to be, uh, you know, sharp action. Sometimes they're just yeah. like big square action. And let's but, not but, forget but, it yeah. is at USF, so that's yeah. a home game for them. You yeah, know? That's they're going to be a, up for that game. Yeah, that's a, that's a tricky one. Six, I was I thinking something on a teaser basis. Yeah. I, I, six wasn't enough for me to take it, but but as it creeps up, it gets more and more yeah. and more tempting. Here's another one that's interesting. Here we go. This is a, this is kind of a, a curious one. Houston, we know they're a little bit overvalued, or we believe they're a little bit overvalued, although we got burned with them last well, week. Well, I'm a little bit overvalued after yeah. my last weekend. They're yeah, given 35 right. and a half to Texas State, and I'm, I'm thinking that might be a few too many points. I just don't wow, think that, that is the, a lot. I just God. don't think Houston is going to be that motivated. Let me find my notes on this game. But yeah, and that's uh, an interstate rival too, man. When you have that in-state rival. Yeah, you know, no and matter what, just, smaller schools get up for that. They yeah, get they do, up for and this. they're going to be playing to the very, very end. And if uh, if Houston has a twenty-eight point lead, are they going to throw Ward out there to win by thirty-five? Hell no, Hell no right? Ooh, Pete, I like your. All right, down there. I'll give that. I'll give that one as another official pick. Plus thirty-five and How's a half. How did you do in college this weekend? I did. Uh, I did okay. I did. I broke even. I was okay. even. I was All even. Right. At Texas State already. They took. They took Ohio to OT as a seventeen-point dog. So they already have some history this year yeah. of a uh, of way overachieving a a as a points. big dog. I'm going to give that officially. Texas yep. State plus thirty-four and a half. Let's All right, moving beat. right along. Anything else you want to talk about, uh, Mike? Brennan? Let's see. Yeah, there is one more. I got to talk about this mm -hmm. one. Um, Notre Dame versus yes. Duke. Yes. All right, here's a team also. Michigan State who had suffered, I mean, yes. not suffered, but struggled against Furman or something a week, couple weeks before. I mean, they just manhandled Notre Dame. Yes. They really did. They just looked like the Michigan State of old. And uh, Notre Dame, I don't know, man. Brian Kelly's got to be saying, what in the hell happened? What was the number that truck that just hit mm -hmm. us? So Duke, who has really struggled, really, mm -hmm. really struggled. Yeah. David Cutcliffe, he's got his hands cut out for him there. I got a feel Notre Dame might rock this mm -hmm. team. Now, again, I wanted to get your opinion. I'm not pulling any trigger yeah, on Yeah, the question is just, I mean, Duke is still a decent program. You're giving 21 and a half, which is kind lot. of up there. This is a game that I have circled as uh, do more research into as okay, of right me too, now. Me too. I, I, you know, and the thing is, is I thought Notre Dame had great. their quarterback situation. We got it all worked out. Right. You know, so I thought they would be moving forward, but now they weren't in that game last week, Pistol. It's so. obviously a big bounce back spot for, sure it uh, is. for, for them. Then another one, we know that, uh, that we like to tend to uh, fade Alabama when they're a massive favorite yep. you know, of over 40 points. 43 against Kent State. I, I admit that I did bet that a little bit just because it's sort of an automatic thing for me to do now to hit Alabama, to hit, to fade Alabama yeah, on these games when they're, they're not, over a 40 points as a favorite. Put, you know, yeah. He does, but uh, you know Kiffin doesn't. I told you what was going to happen. The question is, does the, the fact they struggled against uh, Ole Miss a little bit uh, change yeah, the situation? Tough place to play, here. Pete. Tough place to play. Yeah, you know it really is. I. I'm not going to touch that one with a 10 foot pole. All right. There's a lot of interesting games. Louisville at Marshall. What's up with Louisville, man? Well, Bobby How Petrino. Good are they? He outcoached How good are Jimbo they? Fisher. That was it. He's a better coach. I promise you that. But Marshall got, is, yeah, but Marshall's no joke of a team. They uh, were at Marshall, not no joke. They just got their asses handed to them. Right. Marshall. But uh, in general, they have their team that. that I'm that, mad that at them. That does still hurt them, bastards. Well, it was a sharp side, supposedly. The sharps were totally yeah. wrong. But, uh, you know, you're giving them 25, 25 that, and a half. That is 26. a hell of a lot of points because they're pissed off, too. So they're going to yeah. come out on fire as well. Wow. Circle that for me, too, as we'll get into okay. it later, look into that. Right. There's one other one to talk okay, about, let's hear I want to put it out let's there, hear official it. Yeah. pick. Yeah. Okay. If Stanford is still available, mm -hmm. minus three at UCLA, I'm all let's over see. it. They Stanford showed at me minus something. Three. Yes, they are. They minus showed three. me something mm -hmm. in USC. Yeah. Wow, hey, right? You were wrong on that one. Wow. I like USC on that one. Big I time. Now, now we understand where that line movement came from. Exactly, and we were puzzled by it, but yeah, yeah now it's it's totally clear. Here's the thing. Stanford, they, they're in, they're, you know, it's an in-state rival again. Yeah. They don't care where they're playing yeah. right now. This team picked up so much mojo last week. Mm -hmm. I don't think UCLA can hang with these boys. Yeah. I really don't. I'm all over it. That's official. Stanford still minus okay. three. Okay, yes, absolutely. Boom, pistol. All right, and then there's one more that, I, that, that I'm liking here that, uh, that again, it moved. Oregon State opened as a 14-and-a-half-point dog. They opened as 14 half point dog. I got him at 14 on the overnight. Now it's down to 13 or 13 yeah. and a half at a few places. Um, I think I'd rather have 14. So I think I think I will give that and I think I will uh, okay. I'll buy up to 14 yeah. at, uh, well, let's see, what book is going to have it? Let's see. I'll buy up to 14 at, uh, at Bet Chris. Bet Chris, okay. I'll Good. buy up to 14 at Bet Chris. It's 13 and a half minus Yeah, I could see where that move made you, you know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just, uh, I just, uh, that it's kind of a pussy move. To, yeah, yeah. I mean, not an ass whooping to blow somebody out. They really Who? are. Boise? 
No. The Oregon State. Yeah, they're yeah. due. They're due for a blowout. And I think Boise State might be a little overvalued. Yeah, but they're getting – no, Oregon State's getting the points. I know, but yeah. I'm thinking they're overdue, though, Pete, for a big win against a school coming in. They're, they're Really? Oh, I think they are. I think there's too much talent there. I think Boise State's overvalued. I said that earlier. So that might be a, a nice like play, on, play. On, on a I pleaser like where you take them down to a Of course, I would maybe take it on a pleaser, but yeah. I was thinking of putting 10 on top of that on mm -hmm. a three-team or when it was 13 and a half. You could do that as well. 23 and a half. So. All right, Mike Brenner, we got a bunch of other interesting games. Florida at Tennessee is interesting. Nebraska Ooh, at North Western is interesting. At? Florida, Tennessee, it opened at Florida plus eight. I thought that was too high. Now it's down to six and a half or and it's seven. it's in Tennessee? Yeah, it's in Tennessee, but Tennessee is just, it, it, they're, here we go again. We've yeah. seen this before. They're just overvalued. Yes. You know what I mean? They're a good bet against. They have some big games like they did against uh, against uh, Virginia Tech, although they got benefit. From I think these two teams there. are really, really equal in a lot yeah. of ways. So yeah. it's one of them ones that I... I may just stay the hell off of that. Yeah. Tennessee hasn't dominated yet to where I like it. Yeah. And Florida's rebuilding, but they can show that anybody can play with Tennessee sure. right now. So. I'm not going to give that one official no, right now, but I'm definitely leaning towards a, towards a dog in that one. All right. I guess we can come close to wrapping it up, even though we could go on for hours talking about we, every we single could. game We could. We probably have a couple <laughs> times. But, you know, there's one there was no mm -hmm. line out, but I will, and we'll keep mm -hmm. you posted. I mm -hmm. love Washington at Arizona. The yeah, line no is line. not out. Yeah, right. Yeah, I do like that, so I will keep you posted Okay, we'll that. see what the, what the line is. I got is two picks, Pistol. What are your two picks? And I'm feeling good about it trust me i think i can i can't do any worse mm -hmm. than i did last week and if i do worse than that then i'm really <laughs> up shit's crick without an oar all right i'm taking clemson i'm taking them minus eight and a half i think they pick up that mojo mm -hmm. i think the fact that they're playing in the dome all right not the dome but they're going to be playing at georgia tech mm -hmm. i think that takes away the pressure mm -hmm. i think they roll this team pete okay. i love it that's my first pick and my second pick it is official i'm taking stanford minus three at ucla okay someone in company getting it done all right sounds good stanford uh, feels like the kind of team that in any situation if you bet into them you're Probably at yeah. worst, you're getting a coin flip. You're probably so they getting proved me wrong. I had yeah. to look back, and USC I can proved see that. me wrong. I can but. see that. All right, Mike Brenner, nice show. Opening yeah. lines, college football week four. We'll be covering these games throughout the week, and then of course we'll be back on Friday yep. to uh, review all of our picks throughout the week and add on some more. Hopefully, I'll have some totals for us. Yep. I'm gonna as soon as the totals I'm come sure out on Wednesday, will. I'm gonna try to find the time to crunch them and do them on Thursday and give some picks on That's Friday. That's the problem finding that time. Yeah, Pistol. that is sure is, especially with baseball and everything. But we will Ooh. be back all week long with with uh, individual game coverage, and we'll be back on Friday with our wrap up show. And it's a bounce back week for Brenner in college football. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign up bonuses. Open up several accounts. Shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.